I, I posted, remember I told you guys about the graphic. I wasn't exactly right on, but I was pretty close to the graphic I saw put up. Let me pull it up on our on our Twitter. I mean, she really should be asked about this because one of her lackeys went on CNBC today and tried to defend this and got just smacked around by the by uh, Joe Kernan, who I love on CNBC, and the other girl there, Becky Quick, who um, I don't like as much as Joe, but I mean, she's all right. But so here you go. Corporate tax rate. She wants to go to 28%. It's currently 21. Capital gains tax. She wants to go to, f- I said 48 yesterday. I was wrong. 44.6 though. Yeah. Oh. Currently at 20. No way. Unrealized gains. Ownership tax, essentially. 25% a year on your unrealized gains. Your house, your paintings, your Rolex, your um, your business, your farm, your whatever. 25% unrealized capital gains tax. And that's only where they want to start. Every year. That's and, common, yeah. It's common, and one it? of her lackeys goes on CNBC and tries to get by by saying, Oh, we have the clip. Oh, okay. It's cut number one if you want to play it there, Damon. Cut number one. Here's this bozo trying to explain how we should all not be that surprised about an unrealized gain ownership tax because, well, don't you know, you're already paying one that's the equivalent of this. Really? Oh, yeah. Where? Roll that. Unrealized gains, taxing unrealized gains just doesn't seem fair in any sense of the word. In the very best sense, in the very best sense, if you are taxing unrealized gains, all you're doing is pulling forward the taxes that would be paid later when someone actually sells the stock. I, I, I think that this reaction to unrealized gains is a little funny, given that I bet that the majority of people watching right now are already paying a tax on unrealized gains. It's called a property tax. Property tax. When the value property of your home goes up, that's an when, old. That's a use tax. When, when, when the value of your home goes up, you pay it's higher tiring. taxes, even if and you don't sell your go, home. It, your value of your home never moves the way the a stock moves. The way something. That's always else moves the go-to answer. Sell. It's also property tax is a use tax. You're paying for school, for the schools. You're paying for emergency services. Those are things that make absolute. Sense. And, and sure, and all the all the revenue that comes in from these unrealized gains taxes and the other pa- taxes in the tax in the Harris plan are going to go to what creating what she calls more opportunity. It's to make sure but that not every newborn born in this country gets six thousand dollars. the services. Well, look, I, I, you're you're arguing that this is some sort of foreign concept that's completely uh, unknown. Well, it's probably, unconsti- it's it's probably unconstitutional. It's probably and, and it was never in in anyone's intent. To, it's, not to, income. To not, it's not an income tax. And it's never going to happen, gain. probably. Not in, not in, well, my, I'm not going to say my life. I, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> not in <laughs> Becky's <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah. Wow. No laughing matter. They clown it's slapped him. Yeah. yeah. Pretty <laughs> hard. It's yeah. a, it's a, it's a, you can't defend that position. You can't defend it by saying that. There's nobody that thinks that that's that's, that's the most un-American proposal that's ever been put forth. 